Hello guys, welcome to one more video and thank you so much for watching. In a case you are new to my channel, my name is Natasha, I'm a polyglot, which means that I speak nine languages fluently, and on my channel I would like to share some tips with you on how to learn new languages and how to have fun while learning them. Uh, my today's video is going to be dedicated to one of the most common problems people face when learning a new language, this is something that happens to people who are not very experienced in language learning, but it can also happen to people like me, to people who love languages, who already speak several languages. So I would like to explain you why does it happen and how to solve it. I have met a lot of people who complained about being able to understand certain language, English in most of the cases, but not being able to speak it, not being able to have even a basic conversation in English, because for some reason their brain or their body is not allowing them to speak, even though they understand almost everything. This might sound weird, but this is probably the most common problem people who learn languages are facing. This is something that can happen with pretty much any language, but from my experience, it usually happens with English because that's the most learned language all around the world. And this is so common that it even has a name in linguistics. It is called receptive multilingualism, meaning that you can receive information in new language, but you are not able to process them and to talk. And some people refer to this as passive language knowledge. This is a name that I don't really like because I don't believe that there is anything passive about understanding a language. Of course, understanding is way easier than speaking, as you can tell, but still, your brain has to work a lot in order for you to understand any language, so the name passive knowledge is something that I don't really like to use. So today I want to explain you why is this happening, because there are quite a few reasons. And I also want to give you some tips on how to overcome this or how to avoid this happening with any other language that you want to learn. The main reason why are some people able to understand the language but not to speak it is the fact that understanding is way easier than speaking a language. In most of the cases, it is enough for an average person to be exposed to certain language, either because they are surrounded with people who speak it or because as we all know nowadays, we are all surrounded with English through music, movies, news. And in most of the cases, you don't even have to put any effort into learning it. If you are surrounded with the language, you will definitely catch up a lot of words. So you will be able to understand the conversation in English. And also another thing, in order to understand the conversation, you definitely don't have to understand every single word. In most of the cases, it is enough for you to understand few words in a sentence and you will be able to understand what are people talking about. So you don't need to know the meaning of every word, you don't have to know grammar rules in order to be able to understand. On the other hand, with speaking, it's way more complicated. In order to speak a language, you do have to know grammar, a little bit at least, and you do have to know how to connect certain words in a sentence. So, as you can see, this is way more complicated process than only understanding and for most of the people it is hard to achieve ability to speak if they have only been exposed to a language but didn't have an opportunity to actually practice it. Most of us start learning English very early on, usually in school when we are 8 or 9 years old, I believe that in some countries they start even earlier. So most of us nowadays are exposed to English from very early age, which is amazing and there is nothing better for language learning than starting early and being very exposed to the language, but this is definitely not enough to learn a language. I remember back when I was in school, we usually had like 25 to 30 students in a class and we had an English teacher. In most of the cases, those teachers were great, but the way languages are taught in school is very, very useless, I would say. If I was relying on school to teach me English or any other language, there is no way I would be able to speak it. Why? First of all, there is not enough time in school to teach kids to speak. 
because most of the time teachers are focused on making kids memorize new words, grammar rules, uh, certain sentences, useful sentences, which is definitely a first step to learning a language. However, that's only one step. There are a thousand more steps. So uh, I remember from the time I was in school, in a case you wanted to get a good grade in English, you had to memorize certain grammar rules, you had to know how to make past continuous tense and so on, but we never, really never had a chance to actually have a conversation in English. We had exercises where we were listening to English and then as answering certain questions. We had grammar tests, we had vocabulary tests, but we never had a chance to actually speak which is sad, but it's understandable. Schools don't have enough time or enough resources for every kid in the class to be able to have a conversation with teacher. So they're still, most of the schools are still using this very old fashioned and very useless way of teaching new language, where kids are supposed to memorize bunch, bunch of things, where kids are supposed to understand the language, but not to speak it. So in a case you are in school or in a case you are relying on school to teach you certain language, please stop. That's not going to happen. One more thing that stops a lot of people from being able to speak English or any other language is lack of self-confidence. And this is something that can happen to pretty much everyone. And trust me, I am speaking from my own experience. Not when it comes to English, but when it comes to German. I know that there are a lot of people out there who have great vocabulary, no grammar rules, they would be perfectly able to have a decent conversation in English, but they don't have enough self-confidence to actually start speaking, start talking to someone, because they believe that they will make a mistake and making a mistake is a huge fail or it's shameful, embarrassing and so on. It is not. It is completely okay to make mistakes. It is completely okay to mispronounce certain words. It is okay to make grammar mistakes. And believe me, even native speakers are doing all of those things. So the first step to actually speaking a language in a case you have enough vocabulary and if enough knowledge of grammar would be to leave your shame aside and just go and speak. It doesn't matter if you make mistake. It doesn't even matter if you embarrass yourself it is very important to start. And as I told you already, this is something that happens to me as well, not with English, but with German. I understand, I would say 70 or 80% of German when I listen to it. I know that I have pretty good vocabulary. Grammar is so-so, but I'm sure I would be able to hold a decent conversation in German. However, what stops me is a little bit of, I wouldn't even call it lack of self-confidence. I would just, let me tell you, when you are a polyglot, a lot of people have high expectations from you when it comes to languages. So I have a feeling that if I start speaking German and I make some stupid mistake, or if I'm not able to finish a sentence, that's gonna be so embarrassing because I already speak so many languages and how can I make a mistake in German? So I definitely understand when people have this problem. I totally understand that in order to speak a new language, it doesn't only take hours and hours of learning, but it also takes a lot of courage and self-confidence. So definitely this is something that each one of us has to overcome on their own. Ideal solution for this problem would be schools and school system changing the way they teach language which is something that's very hard to achieve and I see it as pretty unrealistic because most of the schools don't have enough resources or enough time to dedicate to each student. And I don't think that this is going to happen. This change is not going to happen anytime soon. I believe that teaching languages in school is not going to change anytime soon, especially not in public schools or in schools with too many students. So if you want to be able to speak a language and not only understand, I would say that you have to rely on yourself. You have to stop expecting school or teachers or anyone else to teach you and you have to do it yourself. 
Good thing, however, is that nowadays you don't have to travel in order to meet someone who speaks English. You don't have to know any native speakers personally. The only thing you do need is internet connection. This is, I believe, the greatest thing of our lifetimes, being able to le learn so many things while sitting in your chair in your room. So in a case you want to improve your English, there are a lot of websites out there that are able to connect you either with native speakers or with people who speak English and you have can have a conversation with them. Good thing is also that in a case you are a little bit shy and not, not able to approach people in real life, I believe that online, being online and on internet makes it way easier. And in a case you are shy to speak, you can start with online chats where you can just write or have written conversation with someone. Uh, social media is another thing that can help you with this as well. But in my case, the main reason why am I able to speak several languages is not because I met people online who helped me practice, it's because I'm talking to myself. This might sound crazy, but this is actually fun. I don't do it when I'm around other people, of course, I don't want to look mentally ill. I do this when I'm alone and I'm having conversations with myself in all nine languages I speak, depending on my mood. And I can tell you this really helps a lot. You get to be two different people at the same time, you get to talk to yourself and it really helps. However, I would still recommend you to not use this as your only mean of learning how to speak a language. Go out, meet new people, either online or if you live in an international city, find friends who don't speak your native language and practice. So in short, I would say that the most important things that people who understand English but don't speak it should do is number one, stop relying on others to teach you a language. It is 100% your job. You will have to do the biggest part of the job. Don't expect someone else to teach you. It's all on you. It's all up to you. Second, practice, practice, practice. Force your, yourself to practice. I like to compare language learning with cooking. It's not enough to watch recipes on YouTube. You actually have to start cooking and fail a few times until you learn. The same thing applies to language. So force yourself to speak to someone. It doesn't have to be in live. It can be online. You can start with like written conversation instead of speaking, if that's gonna make you feel less shy or less um, insecure. But definitely do practice. And last but not least, work on your self-confidence. And this is something that's not gonna be only useful when speaking a new language, but in every other field of life as well. And I hope that these tips that I gave you are going to be useful for at least few of you. As I told you, I'm also struggling with this sometimes when it comes to German and I also hope to overcome it. I'm working very hard on this. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please, if you do, leave me a comment, any kind of comment, positive or negative. Leave me a like, subscribe to my channel. And I'm really grateful for you being here, especially because in the last few weeks or a month, I have noticed that YouTube is kind of joking with me because my videos, last few videos, are having way less views than my videos from, from before. And I don't believe that they have lower quality or that they are more boring. But I have noticed that YouTube started putting ads in the beginnings of my videos. I'm not getting any money from those ads. But I feel that I'm losing views because nobody wants to watch a stupid ad for like a minute before watching a video. So in a case you managed to make it till the end of my video, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and see you next week.